Never ever take life for granted. Approximately two people die every second. The reason you are alive today is because there is something that you need to do in this generation that is not complete. The psalmist says in Psalm 105 from verses 1 to 3, I'll just paraphrase it. He says, make mention of the wonderful work that the Lord has done. Let the world know that. And in Psalm 103, it says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Don't forget his benefits. And we have a young lady that's just expressing a gratitude and expressing the wonderful work that God has done in her life. If you have a testimony, don't hold back. Share and encourage someone out there. Someone stated, your story could be just the story that unlocks someone else's prison. Don't be ashamed of that story. Be encouraged. Hi everyone, my name is Nomtanda Zosibanyoni. And today I would really love to thank God for being so powerful, for being so amazing, for being so great in my family and in my life as well. You know, um, he's been showing his greatness, that he cares for us. He's been providing, he's been protecting, you know, he's been showing us that he loves us in a way that we cannot even understand it ourselves. As he says in his word that as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his love for, you know, he's been showing us that his mercies are new each and every morning, that his, he, he, his grace is, is sufficient even in our lives. He's been... As I was saying that he's been providing, you know, so many people are worried about like employment, about uh, their contract termination and everything. But my family members have been moving from jobs to jobs, from companies to companies. You know, he's been keeping us like in this peace that we cannot understand because we trust in him, because our confidence is in him, because we know that there's no any other God that can provide for us, that can save us. Um, with that being said, I would I would love to encourage you with this verse is Matthew 6 verse 31. It says, so do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly fathers know that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. So my encouragement to you is that do not worry about anything. Do not worry about what you're going to eat. God knows that you need something to eat and he is going to provide. God knows that you need employment or you want to start that business. He will provide the resources for you to carry whatever that he inspired you to carry. So do not worry. The Bible says do not be anxious for anything, but do pray and supplication. Make your request known to God. And he also encourages us to ask because we shall be given sick and will find knock the door will be opened um for us so just trust god that he he's watching over you trust god that he's hedging you in behind and before trust god that he, he he loves you so much that he will never let you suffer trust god in every aspect of your life he he is god he knows you he knows the things that you need and he's going to supply every need of yours